In this episode of Capture One for Beginners, I'll take you through basic color grading in Capture One. Our main aim is to attain the orange and teal color grading using Capture One. Most Hollywood movies have their orange and teal feel, and most music videos too. Most people make use of presets and lots. Today, I'll take you through how to create your own orange and teal look in Capture One. If you're new here, my name is Don Alabi, and this is Ghana New Photography. Before we start, let's take a look at what orange and teal looks like. So let me perform a search and drop this window here. So this is what it looks like, orange and teal. So any variant from orange going down, and then any variant from teal or blue going down. So it's a, a complementary color. So one is on one side of the spectrum, the other one is on the opposite side. It has to do with the contrast also. There is contrast on one side and then there is no contrast on the other side. So when you apply this technique, it, it gives your image some nice contrast, pleasing to the eyes. So if we go through some of these images, you see the application of orange and teal. It gives this um, golden eye feel where we have the orange deep over here and then the teal in the sky. There are many ways to apply this orange and teal thing. So I'll take you through how to achieve it easily using Capture One. So these two images, if you look on the left is the raw image and on the right is the image that has the orange and teal look applied to it. Now this is indoor. Let's take a look at an outdoor image. This is the raw image and then this is the one with orange and teal applied to it. So I'll teach you how to do this easily in Capture One. So make sure you hang around and then watch the video to the end. And oh, can you like this video so that the algorithm will push this video forward to more viewers. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I do Capture One tutorials, Photoshop tutorials, and a whole lot of tutorials aimed at photographers, mainly beginners. But I sometimes have advanced tutorials for those who just want to brush up their skills. So if it's of interest to you, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified anytime there is a new upload. So let's move straight to today's agenda. So let's start by taking these final products off and let's begin business. Now there are two ways I'm going to achieve these um, results. So I'll take you through both of them. So you see, it's good you should stay around and then watch the full video. First of all, before you start color grading, you need to raw process your image, which means if you shoot raw like myself, you would have to apply your basic adjustments to the image before you start color grading. So let's do that. I like the white balance over here. So I'll just go straight here and then increase that. If you want an in-depth tutorial on how to raw process your image in Capture One, I have a tutorial for that. So I'll include a link in the description. So I'll just quickly go through these ones. Yeah, so I think this is this is okay for us here. So we can go straight and color grade this image. So to do that, there are various ways. I have a video on general color grading. The link will be in the description as well. But in this case, let's just go to the color tab and then we'll make use of the color balance. So let's increase this and then put it here since this is our main focus. So there are three wheels, the shadow, mid-tone and highlights. And then we have the master. With the master, whatever you do here affects the whole image at once. So you double tap or double click on the circle, it will reset it. If you go to the three way, it shows you all the three wheels at once. Then we have the single ones, you know. So whichever way works for you, you pick that. So here, let's uh, start with the shadow. So what I want to do is I want teals in the shadows and then orange in the highlights. So let's move this to 
the teal. This is shadow. So if you're using the single sliders, you just come to shadow and then move it. Color grading is subjective. So whatever color you choose is up to you. You, you will have a reason why you're choosing a specific color. Now we've achieved this here. Let me see. I think you want it a bit. Okay, so this is good. So the slider on the right here is for the luminosity. If you want it to be bright or dark. This gives it that kind of um, smoky, foggy effect. So if that's what you're going for, you can do that. But I want it contrasty. So I'll just undo this. And then with this one, it gives you the, the, the hue. It increases or decreases it. So if you don't want to, once you've determined here, what color you want. Now you can use this to make it deep or lighter. You see, take it closer to the color or further without affecting the color itself. I hope you understand. All right, so let me just see, this is it. So let's go back to what, we like this one. So let's go to the highlights. Since shadows and highlights are opposites, as I explained from the beginning, with this particular image, I want to apply orange and teal to the opposite sides. So one in the shadows, one in the highlights. And I'm applying teal in the shadows and then orange in the highlights because I want the I want it to be close to her skin tone, which is orange. You know, naturally skin tones have oranges in them. Awesome. So here we move this towards orange. So let's say if we are okay here, good. So there also you can make it light or deep. So I think I want somewhere here. Yeah. Or even here. Good. So this is what we have now. Let's uh, press Alt and then temporarily reset it. So this is before. This is where we are before this is where we are so you see if you watch movies you see this kind of effect in the movies or certain um, music videos this is the effect you get so easily we've been able to create this so now we can go to the master and then we choose what we want to add more do we want to add more orange to the whole image or we want teal to the whole image so i think i'll go somewhere Feel. And then we can go to the middle. You don't necessarily have to use all these sliders. It's up to you and what you want to achieve. So we can play with the mid-tones and see if we want to add some more orange. Okay. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's add more orange so that we can have everything pronounced here. So this is what we have. Let's do a quick before and after. This is before and this is after. There is something I did not mention earlier. You can or it's, it's advisable for you to create a new layer and then do your color grading on it. If you would want to copy whatever you've done and then put it on another image. That way, it's only the things you did with the color balance that are going to be on that layer for you to paste on the other image. Don't worry, I will show you what I mean in a moment. Okay, so we have this done here. Let's say we want to apply this same thing to other multiple images. So what we can do is we can save this as a preset, you see, so that once we come in here, we'll have it showing here. So we just go to save custom preset and we want to save it from the color balance. We press save and then we give it a name. Once you give it a name, it will appear in your styles. If you come here, you go to custom preset color balance, you should see it in here. We haven't saved it here. So these are the ones I've saved so far, which I intend sharing with my subscribers. So if if you, you think I should share my styles and presets, just let me know in the comment section. Just write something. Let me know if I should share it and I'll gladly do that. Okay, so let's cancel this one. 
So in a nutshell, we've achieved this one for this particular image. Now let's go to the second image. With this particular one, let's put this back in here. So with this image, I'm going to show you the second method of achieving orange and teal. So as usual, let's raw process this image first. So let's go ahead and apply orange and teal to it. So with this one, we are not going to use the color balance, but we are going to use the color editor. If you look here, there's a color editor. So we have basic, we have advanced, and we have skin tone. I have a tutorial on how to correct skin tone using Capture One. I will include a link in the description. But today, we want to use the advanced tab. So in this case, we are going to be selecting specific colors and then changing their values, changing their hues to get a different color. So as I said, it's always good to create a new layer and work on it. So let's create a new field adjustment layer. So we can name it orange and teal. So everything we do from this point is going to be limited to just this layer. The reason why I'm doing this is so that we can adjust the opacity if need be. So that's why we are doing this, so that if we, we want to change the intensity of the effect, we can do that easily. I hope you understand. So let's use this color picker and select a color. So we want to start with the teal first. So we want to change the sky, this blue here, we want to move it towards teal. So let's select it. Now we want to be sure that, you know, whatever we work in this range affects only this color. So there is something here, view selected color range. We are going to use it to check if it's conforming to only that color. And yes, everything else is grayed out, which means we are working on only this one. So let's disable it. And then we will move the hue here towards teal. So you see when we move it to the left, it's going towards the left into teal. So we're moving from this to that. If you go to the right, it will enter here. So let's demonstrate it. So you see, you have the purple or... <laughs> I'm not very good with colors. So let's go back to where our interest is. Now, if you want to you know, add a second point, all you have to do is click again. So you see a second point has been added. Then you can go in. So you see it deepens that. So we moved one here, and then the second one, we've gone this way. If you want it to be green, we can continue adding and then moving it there. And you see, we are getting towards green. We can move it all the way to orange, but that's not what we want to achieve today. So let's, um, I don't know, let me see if, okay, so we can keep it to this level, if that makes sense. Yeah, so, so far, let's disable this. This is before, and this is where we are so far, which looks good. Now, the next thing is to work on the orange. Now, luckily, we have some oranges around aside her skin tone. So let's select this orange somewhere here. And then, as usual, we are going to use this to isolate it so it doesn't affect her skin and the skirt over. You see, we have yellows in here. So we use this slider to subtract those yellows. Now we move the point back somewhere here, then subtract the yellows. Okay, so that works fine. We've removed most of her skin tone from. We can use a mask later to remove it from this side, but for the purpose of this tutorial, let me just leave it like that so we don't make this very long. Now we are okay with the isolation, so let's disable this and then we start doing what we can. Now let's play with the hue first. If we go this way, see what happens to the background, see? So that is okay. Let's play with the saturation a bit. So we've increased the saturation a 
spit to get the orange to pop. So let's take a look at before and after. So this is before and this is where we are. So what I was talking about, um, the opacity. So we can now use this opacity to increase or decrease whatever we have done. So as with um, the previous example, we can go here and save this as a preset. Same way, we go here and then here you have more work to do. So we worked with the color editor advanced. So we have to select color editor advanced and then save. And with that, you can give it a name. Now let's say we want to give it a name. I have a folder in here already. So let's make it a tute O and teal. So that's tutorial orange and teal. So let's save it. Now, if we come here, let's say we have, um, let's clone this and then reset it. So this is the raw image. If we come to adjustments, styles, we go to custom here. No, not that one. Um, presets, it's a preset we did. Color editor here. And we come here, we are going to see tilt O and T. These are other ones that I have saved so far. So if you want me to share them with you, just let me know in the comment section and I'll upload them and share the link with you. So this is what we just did. So we can just apply to it and boom. You see, so easily we've been able to create the orange and teal look for both an indoor image and an outdoor image using two different methods. You can mix them up anyhow you like. Now let's say with this one, if we want to use the color balance tool in addition to the color editor, we can still come ahead here and then do it. So let's say we want to add um, some teal or let's say, yeah, we want to add some warmth in the shadows. And then in the highlights, we want to add some teal. You see, let's do a quick before and after. This is before the color balance and this is after. So you see, we've been able to mix the two as one and then we did them separately also. With color grading, there's a lot you can do. But first of all, make sure your image is well processed. It's well processed from the beginning so that you know that your colors are accurate before you start color grading. Otherwise, you end up with um, an image with a bad white balance and you think it's your color, you've color graded it. No, you need to white balance. Make sure the image looks presentable before you start color grading so that the image will look very good in the end. If this has been informative for you, kindly, do me a favor and share it with your friends. Share it with anybody who will be interested. And if you haven't subscribed yet, maybe now you are convinced that you should subscribe so that you can get more of my tutorials when they come up. So hit the bell after subscribing. I hope this has been informative for you. And I would like to thank you for watching.